Is Windwalker Monk good in Dragonflight? Yes. The, the answer is yes. Now, for those who are just looking for a yes or no answer, you're free to leave. Although I hope you won't, because as a Windwalker main, I will be going over the main points that make the Windwalker Monk so good in Dragonflight. That means we're going to be talking about their play style, the potential, as well as single target and AOE, among some other things. With all that being said, if you like World of Warcraft videos, MMO videos, maybe just monk videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy this video at the end of it, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. With all that out of the way, let's talk about the first thing, which is play style. So with the play style, the Windwalker Monk is very fun. It's super active. There's a lot of different abilities to use, which to some it can be overwhelming. So if you're looking for a very very simple class or spec, Windwalker Monk probably isn't for you. So there are a lot of things to do. There's a lot of mobility, which makes it really fun. It makes it have some very interesting use cases in different environments because you can hit your double rolls, you can hit your dashes, you can get a lot of movement that allow you to do a lot of different interesting things, allow you to get maybe that extra one or two hits in because you can roll out quicker than some other classes may be able to. In the same vein, you're not limited in play style. Unlike some classes that may be very heavily single target focused or very heavily AOE focused, the Windwalker Monk is kind of a jack of all trades. It is going to be good at both, but not the best in either. And that has to be something you're okay with. Sometimes you will top those charts, but sometimes you're going to get second or third, depending on if you're doing, you know, Mythic Plus or rating or things like that. But what I can guarantee is if you're a good Windwalker Monk, you will compete or hang in both of those areas. There's no reason that you should be at the bottom of the pack in a raid unless you're just way under geared or you don't know what you're doing. And the last point about playstyle is going to be that it is a priority system. So unlike certain classes where maybe you know exactly what that next button is going to be, it is all structured and laid out. With this, there's going to be that system of priority that you will follow to determine what the best thing to use next is as certain things may proc or maybe when you use an ability, it takes time off of another ability. You get knocked back, you come back, there's something up that wouldn't normally have fit into the rotation, but it is at the top of the priority. You'll want to use that. So you want to learn these things to make the absolute most out of the Windwalker Monk. So now we'll talk about the potential of the Windwalker Monk, which I kind of touched on there. There is a very, very, very high potential. And anybody who was new to it and checked out the Windwalker Monk for Dummies video I made has replied to it saying that they have seen dramatic increases because I explained the basics and how you can improve yourself as a Windwalker Monk and it will pay dividends. So I think that the Windwalker Monk, given it has a high skill ceiling, is something that you're going to have multiple tiers to. You're going to have people who know absolutely nothing and just picked it up and they're going to be the worst, right? They should be. That's just how it works. Then you're going to have the people who have a basic understanding and they're going to be pretty good. They're going to be able to hold their own a decent amount. Then you have the people who are just below the best who are going to be fighting for those top spots consistently, again, in both single target and AOE. And then you're going to have the people who are the absolute peak players who are parsing top 99 to 100%. And those people are going to be able to not only compete, but often take those top spots from any of those other classes. Even if they're playing near perfect, they will need to play perfect to outmaneuver the Windwalker Monk because that person is parsing 99, 100, and they know everything they need to do down to every proc every single stack that they don't want to overstack, and that opens up a whole new level of play but i need to reiterate that windwalker monk is not the best at single target or aoe but they are in the discussion for being in the top four or five for both taking the discussion over to single target now windwalker monks used to just be aoe demons they didn't really do anything when it came to single target it was kind of their weakness which is why they were pretty solid if you took them into mythic plus because they just burned down all the trash not as prevalent there in the single target boss fights but outside of that they still allowed you to push keys much faster due to the aoe damage well now they can do both and again we're going to talk on aoe after this i know apart from this already but they have strong AOE. You can actually do a lot with it. And again, doesn't mean you're going to be the best at it, but you will hang and oftentimes win if that other class is specced heavily into AOE and they're giving up a lot of single target. Whereas monks, when you're heavily specced into AOE, you're still pretty solid at single target and vice versa. So that's going to take us on over into AOE. Now, AOE has fallen off a little bit, but I don't think it's a huge problem because of the increase in the single target performance we just talked about. You have plenty at your disposal in AOE and can keep up with most classes. You have Fist of Fury, Spinning Crane Kicks, Bone Dust Brew, and these all lean themselves into big fights, lots of mobs. If you bring it down to just two or three, all your other stuff is basically cleavable and you're able to deal just as much damage by just swapping over to the single target. So again, reiterating as I've done multiple times, they're not the best AOE, but they are great 
at AoE. And I think that if you're going in to a Mythic Plus, and I've done this a lot, actually, I go in and we'll have a Hunter very strong at single target, and they will barely beat me or beat me in terms of the boss fights. Sometimes I'll end up taking it if they make a mistake or something, or I just play phenomenally. Then on the trash mobs, we'll have like a feral druid who's playing really, really well, and they'll outdo me in the trash mobs when there's five, six mobs going. But at the end of the dungeon, I'm the number one DPS. Why? Because I'm really good at both. They're just slightly better at both. And that allows me to be somebody that most groups will want to take because I have an overall impact on the runs and then the last thing is that there is some utility do they have the most utility or the most useful no but there is still some utility i mean you have rings of peace which is a big one to push mobs away to stop ads rotating in it has a lot of utility you of course have an interrupt and you have paralysis to be able to take somebody out of a fight so there's still utility there and these are just the main reasons why the windwalker monk is so good so there's your answer yes it is good in dragonflight yes it has a lot of potential you should never be the worst in your groups basically unless you are under geared or just not performing as you should if you are not check out the windwalker monk for dummies video learn all of that and if you're still having problems maybe we'll have a more in-depth guide coming soon here at level up mmo but thank you all for watching if this was helpful if you like this type of content make sure you give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel you can always come chat with me live at twitch.tv slash heartbreaker underscore tv where you can ask me any questions if you'd like to support me directly in the best way you can consider becoming a member here on youtube by clicking the join button down below or heading on over to twitch and throwing a tier one or prime sub my way thank you guys once again and until next time good luck in your adventures